Delisa's Life Dance. Good morning. I am vlogging with Zuri and Star. Vlogging with Zuri and Star. So, let's see where these guys are going. They're following their noses. So, what does that say to me? I'm going to follow my nose in 2021. <laughs> this is quite challenging. I haven't done this. Vlogging with Zuri and, and Star. I've vlogged with Zuri before. But um, today, let me bring my mask down. Today, I want to challenge you to follow your nose like my little doggies. Follow your senses. Follow your eyes. Have clear vision. Have some kind of vision. I challenge you to creating your vision board. So, I like this tree because it looks like, looks like what? Looks like an eye. Vision. And as you all are, what you're learning about when I worked in surgery, I worked in surgery for 20 years in eye surgery. So, it's, it has deeper meaning for me, helping those that have had eye cancer recover and get their therapy which starts first by removing the tumor, malignant melanoma. But let's not start the year talking about cancer, even though my sun sign is cancer, so maybe it's appropriate. I want to challenge you to create and make your vision board. So what does this entail? Does it have to be a board? No. Does it have to have your visions on it? Yes. What it should have is what you want to achieve or what you want to have in 2021. I have mine on my refrigerator. Some people have it in their screen savers. And so, and some people have it on their computer. Some people write down their visions of what they want to manifest and keep it in their wallet. What I've learned over this past year is that I keep a lucky, a lucky dollar bill in my wallet. And you can add zeros to it. So if you get a $5 bill, a $1 bill, you can make it a $100,000 bill, a $500,000 bill, and set it upon yourself to manifest that. And guess what? I'm getting closer. My finances are actually improving since I've been doing this. So vision board, manifestation, just a little bit of what I want to talk about as I vlog with Zurian Star in the park. And yeah, follow your nose like the little doggies. I have a couple of really special events that are coming up this well, one's on the 31st. That's in a couple days. I'll put the link below. It is a fundraising event online to uh, help support two charities. So I'll put the link in there. I was asked in one of my other groups, Purifying Your Spirit, run by Debbie Jade. And I'll put her link in there. It's an amazing group that has helped me grow and learn and thrive. And it will continue to do that with those members every Sunday. And I'll put the link to that below. I do a lot of links. And then I'd like to please have you follow the Chinikari Ensemble on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's the traditional music and dance group that I am a part of. And I have to be socially distant. So woohoo, it's getting a little crazy. I have to be socially distant and somebody is coming. So come on doggies. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to cut out for a second. So I'm going to wrap this up by saying my usual spiel. Like, subscribe, share. Can you hear me? I hope. Hit the bell notification. The thumbs up button. And I want to say thank you to all of those that have subscribed from the beginning of this YouTube channel, The Lisa's Life Dance, until now. I have 535 subscribers. I have like 400 and something to go before I monetize, which is a goal of, of mine. And um, we'll see if I can meet that goal. It's a little bumpy jumpy right now, but that's because I'm vlogging with Zuri and Star. I'm gonna be editing some of this out. So, I just want to send a very heartfelt thank you in closing this year out and prayers to everyone, prayers to the frontliners, prayers to all of us, praying that the vaccine 
makes a positive impact on our lives. And uh, I think that's it. Something else I wanted to say about this channel. Oh, yeah, I started this channel. I was the first in the first group of Freedom Lifestyle Creators with Shibaria and Master Sri Arkashana. I knew nothing about tech, nothing about um, vlogs, nothing really about YouTube, except that although I like to watch it and gain knowledge from it. So they brought me a very long way. Thank you for being patient with my learning and dealing with the camera, <laughs> dealing with the camera while walking dogs. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I just want to say I've had a lot of growth since March of um, March of 2019 and I plan to grow more. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my subscribers, old and new. And uh, we'll see you 2021. I'll put all the links to all the different things I'm doing. I um, also am doing a online, I'm part of an online event called um, Project Oneness, Project K, a oneness event. And that's where all life, uh, like-minded people get together and we speak about health, learn something about health and wellness. And so this is the first one of the year is January 2016. So I hope you join me for that. So two important dates, December 31st, all day event fundraising talent show. I'll put the link there and then January 16th. And please come every Sunday to Purifying Your Spirit with Debbie Jade. I love you guys. Take care. Ciao, ciao. Uh oh, I got to turn this off with the doggies. P.S. Happy Kwanzaa Day 3. Ujima, collective work and responsibility, I believe. I will put the link what below. Leave me a comment if you celebrate Kwanzaa. Let me know and uh, we'll talk about it. I'll put uh, some of what I talked about last year. I did an extensive um, few days on Kwanzaa. So please go back to those videos and then that will help raise my um, views for those. So I appreciate you. Take care. Ciao, ciao.